right there. Joe, where we stand, we're about 420 feet from the road. So, you'd be within 500 feet. Uh -huh. Well, Joe just did the daunting task of going around the barns with the skid steer and the mower just so I could get a little bit closer to it. I did hear him hit a couple of hard things. Hoping his mower's okay. But he was going to try and make me a path through to that little barn, which is the other end of that one. Let's see how far I can get in there. And I have my snake chaps on. I'm probably not going to be able to go in it too far yet. Looks like it was just a little farm animal barn. Gosh, these uh, locusts here. Yeah, they definitely need to go, but I don't have anything to cut them with. Oh. So, I'll just try to bend them. Get out of my way a little bit. Now, I have the metal detector, too. But, we're uh, we're gonna need to clean it out a little bit more. It's a brick. Yeah, it even smells like uh, animal yet. Although <laughs> that's probably because there's woodchucks and who knows what else is living in there right now. Hey guys, Capper here, and welcome to our new project property episode. Even though we don't legally own it yet, we're supposed to close this week. We're going to get started on it. So it's uh, Labor Day evening here. I wanted to give you guys something uh, for the end of the weekend, and maybe more importantly for you guys that have to go back to work Monday or Tuesday morning, give you a little distraction to start your uh, work week after a long weekend. So we did start on it today. We made some pretty good progress, but uh, today's video is just a raw clip of Sharon exploring the barn and one other clip. So definitely stay tuned as we have the project that has now started, and we hope you'll join us for the whole thing, and let's have some fun together. And We're going to show you how everything we do to improve a property like this. Thanks a lot. Yeah, a bunch of thorns. Pile of old tin right there. A couple sheets of tin left on the roof. I don't really need any more tin. I can probably salvage parts of these barn boards. At least they're oak. Should be able to get a little bit out of them. But this is the inside. Some wire mesh up there. May have been an old chicken coop. Who knows? Nice big tree growing in the middle there. There's probably some boards. It looks like that was a wall. Definitely get some off of there. Whoa. Yeah, you are protecting it, aren't you? Uh, there's a door, but it looks like it'd be pine. 
So I don't know if that's going to be salvageable. Oh, I wonder who's under there. But I definitely see some uh, good boards off of this wall. Looks to be oak from here. Might be poplar, but I think it's oak. I don't know what that metal thing is there. It'll be interesting to lift this thing up. See who's under there. Let me go around the back here. Looks like a cut up water heater used as a trough. Well, that may be something he hit. It's pretty solid. Oh, huh, wonder what that was. Anybody got ideas? Chain, spring, and uh, that. Put that back there. Oh, it looks like there's another section of the shed here, but that's like totally gone. That looks like plywood. But those are some boards down there. Let's keep going around. Oh, he hit a fence post. That's the knocking I heard. Couple of fence posts and uh, bonus barbed wire. Well, the back of the shed is still here. It's got tin on it. Let's see if I can go around. Nope. I think this is where he almost tipped over. <sighs> yeah, there's more fence posts anyway. Well, that's a pretty flower. I think it's a trumpet vine. They grow wild around here. Very pretty. Here's one that's not quite flowered yet. All right, let me go back around the front. Some big, beautiful trees out here. This is a giant sycamore right next to the barn here.